Hi, welcome back to Books and Cooks. Um, it's a Sunday morning here at our house, so we're going to have brunch and I'm coming to you from my home kitchen, also via the Sun Prairie Public Library. This is my daughter Monica, who you've seen before. Right, and we're gonna be talking about Jarell Guy's um, book, Black Girl Baking. So mom, why did you choose this book? So I chose um, Black Girl Baking um, in sort of a different way this time. I usually, um, you know, just know what's in our collection. Um, we have, while well, we're cataloging our new books particularly. But actually I went to Boston University um, and I get the alumni magazines, which I love reading and seeing what um, alumni are up to. And um, Jarell Guy is also a graduate of um, Boston University, of course, many years after I graduated. And she has such an interesting story. She um, got her BFA from the Rhode Island School of Design, and then she went to BU to get her master's degree in gastronomy. And she's the founder of um, Chocolate for Basil, which is a food blog. I also really love how she um, ties in her baking and her cooking with her heritage. Jarrell was born in um, Florida in a town called Lantana, which is in Palm Beach County. And it's a pretty segregated area of Florida. There's definitely um, a divide there. And she talks about that. Her father is um, an African-American man, um, Southern, and her mother is from the Caribbean. So she has a pretty rich, um, history just within her own immediate family, but then it goes beyond into her neighbors and neighborhood and then the travel. This paragraph particularly really um, was inspiring to me. Racism whisked westward throughout the beautiful draping palm trees off the East Coast, landing on the left side of the city's bridge, leaving behind strife and social divide. It was like its own hurricane, but there was so much life on our side of town and the food was influenced with Jamaican, Haitian and Cuban culture. Black beans and rice, black plantains, sauteed cabbage and carrots. And then of course, for me, the interwoven cuisines of both my parents. So that's just a little bit about um, Jarrell. This specific book has over 80 recipes but most of them are probably on the sweet side, a lot of pastries and baked goods, but she also has quite a few savory um, items in there. Yeah, she has a lot of really cool experimental um, recipes. There's a cheddar cheese whoopie pie recipe that looks really yummy. And then she also makes these bagel spirals that look like they would be really yeah. fun to try too. There was one that reminded me a lot of Monica's, a kombucha muffin. So she's definitely um, weaves in a lot of contemporary um, um, elements. And um, also Monica had noticed that there was a lot of um, vegan recipes um, and um, and also, if, if not vegan, egg-free. If you're plant-based, this is definitely a really good book to try out. And one of the things that really drew me to this book was kind of her philosophy of using baking and cooking for self-resilience, especially in this time during COVID. It's it's, I think a lot of people are turning towards cooking as a way to feel strong. And she definitely does that through her sense of cooking. Um, she's, a lot of her recipes are super playful and experimental. And she talks about how making mistakes while cooking sometimes can create a new and better recipe, which like as someone who is a kind of new home cook, I always like to have that reminder that it's okay to make mistakes every once in a while. Yeah, yeah Monica does a lot of cooking um, herself, so I was excited to share this book with her. All right, so now I'm hungry. What are we making now? Well, I've already made it, um, and what I made was um, a peaches and cream pie. Um, and I will say I was a little nervous about this because it doesn't call for eggs. So I was like, oh gosh, I've never made a cake without eggs, So, but I think it looks really good. I'm really excited. I, and then I um, made um, feta and um, spinach pies. And they're kind of like pizza pockets. And I had actually made spaghetti the other night and made some sauce. So I reserved some of that sauce to, to um, use for that. So I, yeah, I thought I'd make a mix of savory and sweet since that's what really drew me to this book or one of the things that drew me to this book. 
And it was also out of convenience. I had these ingredients on hand. It's kind of, I would say, our last week of peaches. So I wanted to um, pay homage to a fantastic peach season. Yes. Okay, well, it's the moment of truth. Um, since it's brunch, I need some scrambled eggs. And once again, the stars of the show, Mark and Monica, are here to taste. So there's the pot, the um, spinach and feta pizza pocket, and that's what the sauce I made last night. And then the cake. So Monica wanted some with some yogurt on the side, and Mark and I are going to have powers with some. So good. Really good. Yeah. Well, there's plenty to eat, so thank you again for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.